Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabriel and today we are going to do another divine union reading for this week. Uh, this reading is actually meant to be timeless, so if you find it outside of the week that it was uploaded, that doesn't mean that there isn't a message for you. That actually means there is a message for you. No matter what time uh, you find it, there's going to be something for you here. And so the uh, cards that we're going to pull from for this week is Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. And I've already pre-shuffled, so we're just going to dive into the energy for this week. All right. The first card is a number 11 card for those of you who are looking for 11s. Uh, look, to your, look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Yeah, I think a lot of us feel like, oh, we're helpless or we're... Um, we have no power on the twin flame journey. Like we see circumstances outside of us. Maybe our twin flame is reflecting something to us that's very uncomfortable. Or maybe just our reality is reflecting something to us that's uncomfortable. Maybe it feels like you're in a situation that it's hard to get out of or you are have uncertainty. Like we've seen in uh, the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine readings for this week of some kind of uncertainty of how to move forward, right? But you have to recognize that you are very strong you're a divine child of god and you create your reality and at any point you don't like anything in your reality you can start to heal that you can change it for yourself and you know this card is saying you have the power you have everything you need right now to uh you know begin to manifest your twin flame union to to manifest uh the life and love of your dreams and, um, you know, just believe in that power. If you believe that you're powerless, you're going to make a situation where you're powerless. You don't actually take away your power, but you have so much power that you can uh, make an experience for yourself where you don't have power. So uh, claim your power back. Do the mirror exercise if you need help with that. Um, I can help you. But, um, you know, claim that help and claim that inner strength that you have uh, because that is... The strength that God gives you. All right, the next card is love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Yeah, I've seen so many times that people will post in uh, Twin Flame groups and things like that, especially Twin Flames Universe Open Forum, and they'll say, I'm done, I give up, this is not worth it. And what I want to remind you of, and this card wants to remind you, is that real love does endure. And I've seen so many times that people will say, I'm done. And then the next week they're back, like, asking questions. Like, it's okay to feel like, oh, I'm done. I'm frustrated with this this journey. Like, it's okay to feel upset. It's okay to acknowledge that sometimes this journey is really feels really difficult. And you're going to have a lot of challenges come up. And the the external reality is not going to reflect like how you feel for your twin flame on the inside like if i love him or i love her so much why are they not reflecting that love to me and you know this is to not give up because this journey requires a lot of persistence a lot of um you know just not giving up on yourself because um, you know, you're learning unconditional love. That's what this whole journey is about. It's returning to God and God is unconditional love. And if you're hanging on to conditional love, well, I will only love you if you love me in the way that I want you to love you or want uh, you to love me, then that's actually not love at all. That's control. And so if you're hanging on to that, that will be rooted out of you, whether it be a peaceful loving experience by using the mirror exercise and working the process or it be a painful suffering process of you trying to control and things keep falling apart like um you know you have the power to choose that path because you are again very strong um but you can't hang on to your illusions and the more you try the more you're going to experience all this turmoil in your life and so like, don't give up on yourself. Choose the path of love. Choose the path of peace. Choose the path of just love. Like, never giving up on yourself no matter what. And know that it is worth it because, you know, you may look at this lifetime and say, well, what if I don't manifest my twin flame for five, ten years? And, you know, if you're looking just at this lifetime, yeah, that can seem like, oh, that's a huge chunk of my life. And it can seem like, 
uh, oh wow, like, is this worth it, right? Where I could just have a soulmate in two minutes and then I can have the rest of my life with my, my soulmate. But what you're w working for here on the Twin Flame journey is your eternal life because you're a child of God, you're eternal. Like this is not the first life you've had and this more than likely, and it will not be the last more than likely because you're not you're never going to die and you're just going to repeatedly come back to this earth to keep learning those lessons and you don't progress spiritually until you progress spiritually um, it doesn't matter if you die you come back and you're right where you were um, so you continue this process like you you just change clothes essentially and you don't change who you are just because you change your clothes you may change your name, you may change the, the color of your skin, or um, even the, the the sex that you're born as, right? You won't change your core that God created you, but in order to learn the experiences, you might change a little bit. But love endures. The love is the same. The, 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 um, the spiritual things that you ha attain are yours. And that's what this is speaking to, is like, um, you know, learn that eternal love because once you like master your your union, you master the mirror exercise, you come into harmonious union, you keep that throughout your entire eternity of life. So the five, ten years, whatever it takes to manifest your harmonious union in this lifetime is such a small amount of time to what it is for your eternal life. So when you put it in that perspective, know that like it's never worth it to to give up on yourself because you're gonna have to do this one way or another and it's better to just walk the path because your life will continue to get better and better and better and you'll manifest your twin flame and with with then your life will get better and better and better and you keep that for eternity so don't give up on yourself you are worth it it is worth it um and you do have the power to move forward all right, the next card is honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. And this is not just being honest with your twin flame. This is being honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. If you are feeling upset, be honest with yourself about how you feel. Be honest with yourself uh, about like how you treat yourself. I see a lot of people that are, their twin flame like says that they hate them. Their twin flame isn't communicating with them and they will double down again and again and again. I love myself. I communicate with myself, brah. Okay, well, first of all, you're angry, right? And second of all, like your twin flame is your mirror. They, they expose you, right? Like that's why they're so powerful in your life is like they will show you exactly where you need to, to heal. And if you don't humble yourself and be honest with yourself, oh, hey, like maybe I'm not listening to my intuition. Like maybe I love myself in all these other spaces, but there's this one space where I'm just refusing to love myself. Even that space right there is where your twin flame is showing you. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're not worthy. It doesn't mean that you don't love yourself in a lot of other ways. It just means that that's the place that's calling for love right now. There's no shame in it. There's nothing out of the ordinary. We all are moving through this process. Just be willing to be honest with yourself, humble, and that's gonna like propel you forward. If you're sitting there in denial, your twin flame's also gonna show you that denial. You know, oh, um, you know, why isn't my twin flame loving me? Why doesn't my twin flame recognize me? Well, maybe there's a part of yourself that you aren't recognizing. Maybe there's a part of yourself that, you know, uh, isn't loving you. Like be willing to look there because you're never gonna find that you're bad. You're always gonna find that you were just calling for love. That's all it is and it's safe to go there. All right, the next card is take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. Yes, um, you know, a lot of us are scared of love. It's, it's like silly as that seems, like it feels like we've been hurt by love or we've been uh, heartbroken many times in our lives. And like love itself is incapable of hurting you. Actual love is incapable of hurting you. You are incapable of being hurt as a divine being. We can experience heartbreak. We can experience pain and suffering, right? Because we can create that. Again, we create our reality. But, um, you know, what God creates is real. And God creates only love, peace, and joy. And so take a chance on love. 
and know that when you follow the good feeling, when you follow God, when you follow the love, you're only going to experience more love and that will never, ever hurt you. Um, that's something that I've had to go deeper into learning is a lot of times I felt like love would leave me or love would abandon me. And that was a place where I had to go and see where, hey, I was abandoning myself. I wasn't loving myself in this space. I was looking for others to validate me. I was looking to others to love me where I needed to love myself. And, um, you know, God in this journey will often ask you to walk down paths that feel very similar to where you've been before uh, in love, where maybe you, um, you know, you like Jeff describes in Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover, their book, where he had to, um, he went to go see his false twin flame in California, and she, like, kind of abandoned him and was with someone else, and he had to do that same thing with Shalia, where he went across the country, went and met her somewhere, and then he found love, and it, you know, you'll be asked to walk the same path, but walk it with love, and, um, that's how you heal those places where you were hurt and that's how you learn what real love is versus um what love isn't and so don't be afraid of where love is guiding you um you're always going to find more love um if you're actually following love all right and the last card for this week is act as if your partner is here whether you have someone in your life or not act as if you are uh, they are with you, so you will always consider them. Yeah, and this is a big part of manifestation, but it's also a big part of recognizing the truth of your union. Your twin flame is one with you. You were created together, and in spiritual truth, you've never been separate. You are never separate. Even in this moment, you are with your twin flame, spiritually speaking. Like, maybe they're physically not with you, but they are spiritually with you because they are one being with you. You share one consciousness. Um, you know, the physical reality is not the only reality that there is. It's not even like the main reality. The spiritual reality is the truth, right? So, you know, consider that your twin flame is always with you. The more that you recognize your oneness, the more that you're going to manifest that oneness within your reality. Um, because that's the truth. And the more, you, the more you focus on, the more that creating your reality... Um, the more that comes into play. So it's okay to uh, think about your twin flame. I know there's a lot of like popular myth out there that you're not supposed to think about your twin flame at all, and that's not true. You can think about your twin flame. It's just that you don't attach to your twin flame, right? You don't attach to an outcome. You don't make them your source. It's perfectly okay to consider them. It's perfectly okay to think about them. It's perfectly okay and normal to love them because you were created to do so. And even uh, Romance Attraction, which is an e-course from Twin Flames Universe and Jeff and Shalia, um, you know, one of the exercises is to make room in your, uh, in your life for your Twin Flame, like clear out your closet, clear out space, physically uh, make an intention to have them with you and, and acknowledge them in your life. Um, and, you know, that goes a long way towards manifesting them in your life as well. You still have to do the inner work to love yourself and all of that. But, um, you know, considering them uh, already being with you, recognizing that you're already one with them, uh, that is a powerful thing uh, to recognizing and um, actualizing your oneness in the, the 3D, right? All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more if you'd like support on your twin flame journey if you're feeling you know helpless and you're not sure how to get started with healing you can find my services at sacredtwinflameunion.com and i will see you in the next video